Hello, hello. This is Ecclesia. God as, hey, sorry, church as God intended. So we come together, we gather around the Father's heart. We gather around the bench of one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and all that are in the bench of one, which is all creation. And we get to feel the Father's heart, know his heart, hear his heart. And get to know what he wants to do, what he has on the table for us. Because on this earth, we are his hands and his feet. It could be anything. It could be something personal, to maybe even one person. Or something personal to all of us. It could be something to our families, something to the nations, something to a nation, something to the multiverse. It could be just engaging his heart. So here we are, the beloved sons of God, gathering around the Father. We want to just relax, enjoy his presence. Enjoy him like you have never enjoyed him before. You know, what's coming to me is a, a hot summer day and you have this cool watermelon all sliced up and you have your fork in your hand enjoying this that's how sweet the lord is hallelujah so beloved we are gathered we are in this awesome presence what's coming to you what what what's on your heart to share you have any mandates for the group? Did you come with a mandate? Do you have something you want to dialogue about? I know we are all open and ready. You know what? Um, something that's just been <clears throat> on my heart and um, it is empathy for others and um, the importance of it, um, but also how to balance it because it, it can, it can be, you know, it can be a lot. Uh, if you, if we don't look at or operate in that function of empathy um, through the eyes of God, you know, God's goodness and his grace. Uh, I, I just know for me that it, it can, you know, feel overwhelming at times. And it's just something that's been on my mind. What I heard when you said that, Jill, I heard the two words change agents. Agents on change. Do you know what that is referring to, or did you just get the words? I heard those words so strong that, you know, they were impressed on my spirit, but I'm yeah. also experiencing oily palms right now. I've got such an anointing, that feeling that I get when usually things are going on, you know, in the spirit or something. I just, I really get this as a manifestation of that. So I don't know. It's just um, that I think, you know, our prayers have much more, of a um, effect and then release once we
pray for those others. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> and I see it a lot more uh, recently, let's say, you know, within the last four or five months, there's, there's really been a shift. And I think we've, we've talked about that in this group. What's coming to you? Share with us, even if it's different from what we're talking about. <clears throat> I'm, excuse me. I'm, I'm just sensing that um, the Lord would have us know the... Um, protocols or the highways of heaven so that as these things come into our lives like um, even though we're practicing and perhaps they're slow in manifesting they're um, the right course for once we know the roads and the protocols these things will become miracles um, so when we're faced with challenges whether it be finances or emotions, like where to engage wisdom because she's laying down the ropes for us as um, forerunners of, you know, the miracles that are on God's part. So it's not a matter of um, necessarily solving the situation. It's a matter of coming to know heaven. Yes, and, and knowing what the Father wants. And ultimately, we work it out because we are engaging wisdom, you know? And I like the fact that um, somebody had changing agent or change agent because we are the changing agent. Uh, in the beginning of the year, the word God gave me is change. Change for the best. You know, we know change. At times, change has come. It could be change for bad, change for good. But he emphasized this change is for the best. That is why my, my new name is change. He said, a patience, you are a change agent. And I believe it's all of us. We just have to step up to it and, and accept it, that I am a change agent. It doesn't matter where I am. I bring the change from part of side into the situation. Amen. It's the mindset that the Lord is laying down in us, that we know that so in, so in sorrow and reap in joy. And, and that's, our, that's our mandate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even when you said it's what came to me is uh, the scripture that says that let the weak say I am strong. It didn't say deny that you are weak, but affirm that this weakness has turned into strength. Yeah, that's really good, you guys. <clears throat> that's really good. Welcome, Simone. Can you talk now? Yes, I can. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was just, thank you. I was just catching up with um, what you all are saying. I was just saying to myself, I'm a changed agent. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Yep, I am a change agent. And I choose to step into strength. And mm. um, yeah, I choose to step into strength today. And so let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, I think that, um, like Noreen had mentioned, um, you know, the, the highway of the heavens, that, you know, always knowing that, always going to that, 
um, carrying witness or wisdom around with us in us. She's always there and um, tapping into that. And then, you know, knowing, 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 and stepping into uh, agents of change is really good. It's powerful, you know, if we can write that on our forehead. <laughs> we can write that on <laughs> our forehead. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes. I think it's, that is something we should do. We can write that on our foreheads. Yes. But before that, Amen. if you all agree, we have a governmental act. Before that, we're going to engage wisdom. The Bible says that before the Father created the heavens and the earth, he engaged wisdom. I believe before any action on our part, even when you wake up in the morning, your first thought, thank you, Father, for a new day, I engage wisdom. So if you're all in agreement, let's engage wisdom and proclaim that we are change agents mm -hmm. and make this our, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like something that we bounce back to, even when we're not aware that we are change agents and we are engaged, engaged to wisdom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, patience um, and everybody else. I'm seeing as we step into um, being change agents that we even reach forward throughout 2020 and bring change for the best. So that change for the best will manifest all year. Do and to know? everybody you come into contact with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's contagious. Almost... Change is contagious. That's what I want to say. Change right. is contagious. I, yeah, I'm seeing it as uh, we're throwing seed throughout the months from here. Like the seeds, uh, you know how like a farmer throws seeds? Uh-huh. And the seed us throwing uh, change for the best seeds all over the calendar. And so as we go through the year, um, uh, we'll uh, change for the best, we'll manifest. Um, you know, everywhere that we go, in our lives, in other people's lives, because we're, we're change agents. Yes. You know, my, my only question is, um, do we want to limit it only to 2020? Hallelujah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. But <laughs> Jill, yeah, Jill, in, Jill, you know, when he told me that, he said the decade, this decade is a decade of change, the decade of pay, because you use your mouth, pay, to change the situation. Yeah. Say, say that even, even before it happens, you can, when you see it coming, before it happens into the bad situation, to be a bad situation, you can speak it out. Pay it to be good and to be best. So we can make it like forever our status. Hey, yeah. why not? Yeah. Eternal. Amen. I agree with that. So are you all in agreement? Do you want to be change agents? Yes. Okay. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I decided to be the agent of smooth change. <laughs> easy, easy transition. <laughs> and for the best. The best is uh, a key word there. Yes. The best. Come on. <laughs> That is a keyword. Change is a keyword, and the best is a keyword. And forever, another keyword. So I'm going to start it. And Jill, you saw the change, right? The change agent. I'm going to start it by engaging wisdom, bringing wisdom in. That was and Noreen. That was okay. Noreen. Okay, Noreen. Okay, Jill. So, Noreen, uh, you do the change agent part, right? 
You want me to? Yes, please. Okay. But I'm going to start engaging wisdom. So we all engage wisdom. And then you come in with the, with the uh, change agent. And as we are all led, whatever comes to your heart, throw it into it. It's like we are, we are, uh, we are preparing a cake, Mr. to bake it. So somebody throw in the flour, somebody brings the egg, right? Throw in whatever you have. We're going to bake an amazing cake. You are ready? Yes. 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 Okay. This is the body of Christ. Sons of God. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you that you have called us sons. And our, 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 our voice, our frequency is something that the world is waiting for. And we want to step in your shoes. Before creation, you engage wisdom. Wisdom was your right hand man. So we engage wisdom. Lady Wisdom, we engage you. We welcome you. We acknowledge you. We entangle with you. We lock arms with you. Every one of us is entangling with you. We are even bringing our families in. With our families, we are entangling with you. With our Christians, we are entangling with you. With our benches, we are entangling with you. And we say, whatever you have for us, we are open. Pour into us. We drink your wine. We receive your mandates. We want to work with you. Co-laborers with you. Co-creators with you. Thank you for honoring us today. Noreen, you want to go ahead? Yeah. Just, just so excited to, um, to engage with your wisdom. And we just um, honor you as you laid yourself out in our um, cloud of witnesses and the men in white linen that have gone before you and, and written a testimony that we're, um, you know, the culmination of. And um, we just thank you for all, all that resource that is behind us and pushing us forward. And I just I recently have just been appreciating the women who, um, you know, out of their barren wombs became the change agents and bore mm. sons. And um, their labor, they labored with you with the, in the, that, the wisdom in their womb. They labored until that pay came forth and their sons came forth. So it's a, it's a dimension between heaven and earth before the manifestation on earth that you have chosen your daughters to labor and bring forth that change that that is in heaven that you want to manifest on earth. So we just place ourselves, um, like as Christ hung between heaven and earth, Lord, that, that's the laboring place um, that we're bringing quickening to, we're speaking quickening into, Lord, that as we were willing to wait, you know, and just wait on you and hear your voice, that, that, that this is a, a time of acceleration, Lord, where what we've practiced in the past is now being quickened. Amen. Anybody wants to add to it? What do you sense and feel? I'm just seeing a lot of <clears throat> riches um and i can't really describe it beyond that but there's like riches in this waiting place that we're manifesting like you know gems diamonds gold that sort of thing like a things hidden in a mountain what's what's encouraging to me if i could just say something really quick you know lady wisdom is the righteous real to jezebel mm -hmm. and and how um, just like Jezebel tried to can strongly affect finances, um, Lady Wisdom can cause 
um, you know, she said she brings us wealth, but it's not even just financial wealth. There's um, so many different types of wealth. Um, and she brings the fullness of wealth in our lives. So when um, Noreen was saying that, that's what came to me. It's just how much wealth um, comes attached when we engage um, Lady Wisdom because wealth is beyond, it's, it, it does include money, but it's even beyond that. So we so I'm just so let me release that we released um, and embraced the positioning that um, Lady Wisdom instructs us to take, and we take heed to what she says. We recognize when she speaks to us. We answer her call. We meet with her and tangle with her daily. We receive and take heed of her instruction and her direction, and um, we receive even the wealth that's associated with her when we entangle with her, and, and witty ideas and inventions, and the, the detailed plans of success that she has for our lives. Mm. I just feel too, um when you talk about Jezebel, like she's a spirit of control and manipulation, which comes with the um, God of Mammon, which is just a small representation, like you said, Simone, but um, uh, wisdom we come into agreement with as opposed to um, that spirit of control. You know, there's an, yes. an agreement, there's a oneness. And I just feel like we need to agree with the words of um, the father like for success not for poverty for glory for riches for honor and i and i just feel like we need to severely uproot the the lies um that that system that uh jezebel is in from our dna yeah because in essence what it is it's this it's a part it's a big part of coming out of babylon um so I agree with you, Noreen, and and just see us um, just very intentionally, whether you, we realize it or not, um, separating completely and totally from any connection to Jezebel and embracing and loving Lady Wisdom. Amen. You know, she says... She, you know, in uh, Proverbs, I think it's eight, she says, I love those that love me. And so wisdom, we say to you that we love you and we embrace you and we entangle with you. Um, and we receive all that you are and all that you represent. And we become one with you, even as you are one with the Godhead. What I'm hearing is ask, seek, knock. It's Matthew 7, 7 and 8. So, it's, you know, is the ask and it shall be given you. Seek, ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh. And you know what comes to me when you say that to KC? Is that scripture, um, if any man lacks wisdom, ask of it and it'll be given to you liberally. Yes. And what's, what's coming to me also is, uh, is, is this picture. I'm seeing that wisdom it is at one hand side and, and, and Jezebel at the other side. And it's like they are pulling, both sides are pulling. On, on, there's a being in the middle and both sides are pulling him or her. And what I heard is that if you lean, the more you lean towards wisdom, the less you are involved with Jezebel. And wisdom leads to life and Jezebel to death. So there's a, there's a tug of war in our lives to pull us to either side. But choose you this day 
That's what I'm hearing. Whom you will serve, wisdom or Jezebel? I'm, I'm seeing Solomon um, with the sword over the baby, you know, with the two mothers that claim the same baby. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should deal with that tug of, with, you know, it's not a tug of war. It's a, it's a decisive judgment today, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. And when you, when you make that decision, then, then we pay, you speak it out. This day, from this day forth, I choose wisdom. I have nothing to do with you, Jezebel. Whether consciously or unconsciously, I have nothing to do with you. I break every soul tie I have with you through anybody who is That's around right. me, operating in you and through you. Amen. Come up from under. Come up from under. As long as you are under anybody's control, it means you are cooperating with Jezebel spirit to operate in your life. At times we think we are submitting. Some type of submitting is not of God. You are allowing Jezebel to rule your life. And it applies to all of us. I'm not saying yeah. I'm not involved, that, that I'm, I'm perfect here. I'm submitting patience. Check your life. <laughs> Amen. Um, that, um, you and Noreen said that really well. Um, and, and I'm hearing that scripture, I think it's in Deuteronomy, but I'm not sure. Um, I set before you life and death, blessings and cursings, choose life. And so that's what we're doing today. And choosing wisdom is we're choosing life. So if you haven't declared that over you, just take a minute and do that. Take a minute and choose wisdom, choose life. And as you are choosing wisdom, the same time you are breaking every connection with Jezebel. I, I just feel like one of the places of, of being a change agent is um, preparing a place. It's like I keep hearing in the Old Testament, you know, they got up early and prepared. Hair. And um, that even today, even just in taking a deep breath and uh, allowing the Lord to search us and then exhaling and just um, confirming our identity with wisdom and uh, bringing an end, you know, just declaring destruction on that Jezebelian, everything Jezebelian, just, just in the simplicity of a breath, the breath of God. It's not a war. It's done, and it's it, it lifed. You know, it's just, it's a simple thing. Go ahead and lead us in that, Noreen. So, um, wisdom, we just are um, triumphantly celebrating your your reign in our hearts and in every aspect of our lives and families, Lord God. Yes. And we just thank you that. Just as you have influence over the King of Kings, turn a heart because you, your ways are wisdom and life giving, Lord. We, um, we thank you for that operation in our hearts and we agree with it. And uh, we just freely breathe that in, Lord. We breathe in that life that can turn a King's heart. Mm. We submit our hearts to wisdom and declare holiness. Holiness. Just declare holiness in our hearts that we are. Our hearts are wholly devoted to, possessed by, and, and ruled with your wisdom. And we love it. And we love it. And we thank you that you're bringing up that discernment that Solomon knew. Solomon had such wisdom and judgment and that we're going to be uh, operating in such discernment to be able to see um, life and death. It's just part of our genetic outworking. It comes as easily as breathing or that, that, we, that we will be able to separate and agree with the light.
So we just take these breaths, Lord, as those cleansing breaths that bring life and, and blow away the chaff of an outdated and cursed system. Just breathe you in deeply, Lord, and exhale the junk. This reminds me of entangling with the tree of life. And I feel like uh, we're receiving the wisdom that's being released in the, the system of the tree of life, which is a part of the kingdom of God. I'm just sensing Lady Wisdom's uh, pleasure because in the Book of Enoch, it said that um, there was no place found for wisdom and um, that, you know, that it's an honor to her that for her daughters to um, honor her and make a place for her. So I just kind of sense that uh, honoring, I guess. <laughs> Whilst I'm engaging wisdom, I saw um, wisdom come hug me like a squeeze hug. And then as, he hug, as she hugged me, I saw a diadem come rest on my crown. And when, when the diadem settled on my crown, it's like I really changed. I became uh, like sparkles of lights. It, no light being, but it's not uh, just lights, a flash of light, and that's it. No, I'm sparkling. I'm sparkling. That's a real change agent. I was getting a squeeze hug too. <laughs> it's awesome. I love and honor you, Lady Wisdom. I make a choice to walk with you like never before. I'm asking Father for the grace to do it 24-7.
I just feel like, um, you know, I can kind of see us giving her a group hug and it turning into a dance, like almost like mm-hmm. dancing around the maypole where we're just um, taking up a hold of her garment and uh, just dancing around her. And, and that in itself is like a, um, a, a womb. It becomes a station of uh, transformation, change the best so I think we're just oh maybe we're releasing it we're releasing it over um, the earth to the ecclesia I just wanted to say that um, Queen Esther is here also. She was a woman who walked with Lady Wisdom and she changed a nation. She saved her people. Awesome, awesome. Sharon, you want to uh, welcome her on our behalf? Yes, I'll do that. We welcome you, Esther. And we thank you for the example that you are. You walked with, with Lady Wisdom and the courage that you had and have. And I thank you for being here with us, encouraging us. We just honor you, Esther. Quietness is good. So I know we're all engaging. 
when we quiet like this, we have received some downloads and we are engaging it, engaging the Father's heart about it. So it's a good place to be. What is coming to me is um, the scripture we talked about earlier. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. And I'm hearing, I am wise. Hallelujah. So whatever we are, that needs to be changed. We are the, the positive side of it. I'm strong. I am rich, I am blessed, I am wise. I am entangled with Lady Wisdom. I have insight and wisdom to every situation I have to deal with. I am a change agent. I am life. Hallelujah. There's no death in me. It's all life, 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 life. You, you know what I'm seeing? I saw something similar con connected to what you're saying, patients, that um, we can know what to do and we can have understanding and we can have direction and um, just counsel, knowledge, everything we need to, um, you know, operate in wisdom and operate wisely and just, you know, wisdom, um, it's wisdom that allows kings to rule even. And, and it's wisdom who we need to engage with and not any other lower source because what i'm seeing is that there's a need for us to know what we need to do and we need to choose and come to and entangle with her rather than see if you go outside of wisdom and go through babylon you'll have to go under somebody mm -hmm. And you'll have to, it'll put you in a lower position and, uh, and, and even in an oppressive situation. And, you know, all that that comes with um, um, entangling with Jezebel and it, it'll be just messy and God never intended that. So I just see just what a higher and better place and position it is to entangle with wisdom and even become wisdom and and manifest wisdom as a change agent and um, and just how easy I just see how readily available and how easy it is to entangle with her it's not difficult mm -hmm. and, she, and she's literally waiting for uh, uh, you know she's she's just so available and she's she's so accessible and she's right here for us and, and simone and simone mm -hmm. she's sending a frequency to draw us that's the invitation he's yes. always using a frequency to draw us we just have mm -hmm. to we, we just have to align with it and you know accept the invitation and yeah yeah when you're talking oh sorry maybe not done no, no, no. Well, well, while you're saying that, I can just see it here. That scripture in Proverbs 8, 
how she from the uh, she calls to the sons of Adam's Adam from the streets. Mm-hmm. And so she is just she's even calling, and that's that frequency you were talking about. Yes, I, I mean, see it. yeah, mm-hmm. it's, she is hit. She's so just easily available to us and um, to everybody. So I just see that. It's no need, it's no reason at all to have to go to a lower system, an even bondage system of Jezebel. What's yeah. She, she is so mm-hmm. pierced. I just see that. Yeah, and what I'm seeing is that whether we are well or not, we want to entangle with somebody who has wisdom or wisdom of a kind. And the point is that if we don't consciously invite, uh, no, accept wisdom is invitation, Jezebel doesn't patiently wait for us or invite us to come to her. Jezebel draws you by force. Jezebel draws you by force. He wants to pull on you, pull on you, whilst wisdom is waiting for you to choose to align with her. You see the difference? And so if you don't consciously make a decision to I'm aligning with wisdom and wisdom help me stay with you. I want to be with you. Jezebel has a tendency to draw you by force into her camp and her table. Because the other thing I heard was that be careful whose table you are eating. Wisdom has a table laid out for you. Jezebel has a table. Jezebel fed, fed Ahab and the Ahab's prophets at her table and deceive them. So the table is set. This table yes. I'm choosing every day. Wow. So serious. And Jeze- Jezebel shut the prophets down and even keep them from speaking Whereas wisdom will um, show you exactly what you should say. And, and he was um, able to shut them down, Simone, because he, she fed them. Yes. She, they were eating at her table willingly. That's it. Jesus. And uh, you know what else I'm saying? Um, uh, I just see uh, that she, I just see a chain around their necks it was just mm. <laughs> wow I'm, I'm serious I've seen the chain and you know we had seen that uh, in another situation by just seeing the chain around the neck speaking of the gross control it's just crazy uh, Simone you see whilst you're talking what's coming to me is a bait when you put a bait on a hook and throw it in the fish in the mm-hmm. pond or in the in mm-hmm. the sea for the fish the fish just comes for the food, but it's no longer free. Right. But it's it's no longer free. It's a trap. And, yes. Lord and the way, the way I see the chain, you know, Jezebel's chain, is it's very heavy, but it's also solid gold. In other words, it's very deceptive. Mm. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> we have to break this chain. Yes. yes. Break this chain. Whether it's connected to us or anybody we are flit with, we're going to break this chain. God reveals to redeem. You so, know what else I'm saying? Um, you guys, I'm saying flipping the dinner table like Jesus did in the temple. Amen. Um, you know, not even allowing that table to stay there. You know, flipping it and, you know, just not allowing that table to be there. And, and, the, and it's not only, Simone, not only flip the table, but like you said, Simone, um, wisdom is the righteous real. So in Song of Solomon, he, put, he talks about the golden chain on his beloved's neck. Mm. So mm. that. That's good, Noreen. Amen. We will make for you chains and ornaments of gold studded with silver. You have ravished my heart and given me courage with one look from your eye and one jewel of your necklace. 
Wow. So we, we want to remove the uh, Jezebel's chain and get this chain of wisdom and love. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What a difference. That's change for the best. Hallelujah. <laughs> change. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord, for change for the best. It's beautiful. Simone, you want to lead us into it? You saw the, the chain. Okay. Yeah. So, um, thank you, Father. So we, we break off and cut off this Jezebelic chain around from our necks and the necks of, of the Ecclesia even, and any of those that are bound by Jezebel's chains. Mm. Um, we just break it off right now in the name of Jesus. Or wait a minute, let me see. Do or do they need to see that it's around their neck and unloose it themselves? I, I don't think everybody will see, you know. So since we have seen, as sons, we can do it. Okay, okay. All right. So yes, Father, we, we break off this chain, we obliterate it, and we throw it off of us. And God, yeah. in, in, instead, God, we receive this, these, this, these beautiful ornamental um, chains that you place around our neck of your love for us. Mm -hmm. We receive it and your gentleness and, and the wisdom that you've provided for us. We receive these jewels, these chains yeah. around our neck that adorn us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And we say we are grateful that you have a provision for every evil thing the enemy does. You have the real thing for us. Yes. We yes. are grateful. We come with a yes. heart full of gratitude this morning and we yes. receive it for ourselves, for our loved ones, and we say let your kingdom manifest on it. Mm -hmm. and we also flip the table mm -hmm. we saw two should tables we, yeah we flip, should we just should we destroy this table uh, hey come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's destroy it yeah Lord, we destroy Jezebel's table we have yes. no desire. We have no use. We break off our connection with Jezebel. Jezebel is not our source. God, we acknowledge you and you alone are our source. And we choose to receive all the knowledge and understanding and the counsel and everything we need um, through wisdom. We yes. choose life through wisdom. And we and choose I, the wealth that wisdom brings. Sorry. I, I'm ahead. hearing this. Destroy the menu. Not just the table, but the menu. So, Father, we destroy the menu. We destroy the menu. The menu to, to Jezebel's table. People might see the menu and see how attractive it is. Though the table is not there and try to go towards it. We destroy that menu. It doesn't exist anywhere. Nobody will mm -hmm. behold it. And we Amen. place in the eyes of all the sons of God around the globe the menu of table of wisdom's table. Yes. yes. See the life, the joy, the peace, the love that is presented Amen. at wisdom's table on this amazing menu and be drawn Amen. to it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to order the detailed plans of success for my life, please, Wisdom. Ha, ha, ha. Come on. I received that. The same for me. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> you 
I think it's the passion translation that says it like that. I love that so much. The detailed plans of success for our lives. We ordered that right now. Yeah, I'll take I'll take a, a double portion of that. Amen. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yes, double, 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 forever double for me. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and what yeah, are your orders? Like Everybody to, put um, out your order. Put out your order. Look at the menu. Put out your order. You have the chance. It's pay season. <laughs> pay. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Lord. I want life and life abundantly. I want immortal life. I will so live nice. forever with my body. Wisdom, please serve me yes. that. <laughs> and not only to speak these out, but to put our feet to those things. Yes. Our yes. hand to those things. Yes. I'd like to order to um, meet with wisdom daily to receive my instructions. Amen. Amen. Yes. What's your order, Carol? Dessert. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. My Dance. favorite. <laughs> Oh, I, I said another big order for us all. Um, uh, we'd like to place a group order for witty ideas and inventions. And um, Simon, Simon, you just spoke my thoughts. <laughs> I, I heard with, with the inventions. I heard it with the invention, and you just said it. Awesome. Amen. Great confirmation. Father, we received that. We receive it. Mm. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. To and help. the mama ordering it for our families, too. Yes. 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 It's, it's, it's part of the, 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 yeah. the beauty of uh, just sitting at this table. The next verse after it talks about the gold chains is while the king sits at his table, his spike Munard sends forth its fragrance over me. So like we're enjoying it and indulging, you know, all these wonderful things, but all the while the father's just releasing his frequency and establishing mm -hmm. his fatherhood in us. Right. That is the best dessert I've ever eaten. The father's frequency was I eat. You are for complete. I have one more little thing. Um, success in our lives, but destiny also. Complete fulfillment of our destiny, destinies on the fast track. Mm. Mm. Receive that for us and our families. And the last thing I'm ordering is change for the best. Amen. That one is take away. Amen. Carry out. Amen. Such a scrumptious meal today. Thank you, ladies. Awesome. I'm Amen. Praise God forever. <laughs> forever full. Yes. We have a lot to trade on the sea of glass, for sure. This has been an yes. amazing day. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Father. And thank you all for participation, for your presence. 
is always a delight to dine with you at wisdom's table. Amen. Amen. And that's the table to be. The wisdom's table. Simon, will you stop the recording? Oh, I have to. Yes. I have to, or you can't. Uh, no, I can, I can okay. do it. Okay.